Someone needed to be hospitalized, an adolescent, a young adult. Are there many facilities available for this kind of therapy? Oh, there's quite a few facilities for, uh, for kids to be hospitalized. In fact, uh, uh, there are facilities that uh, are sort of in the business of uh, getting children hospitalized. And if you connect with the wrong facility, you can sometimes get your kid uh, not only hospitalized, but sometimes committed there, and it's hard to get your child back out. And they usually use a lot of medicine, and if you're on medicine, that does alter even a normal person to some state of almost flatness. Yes. Uh, an emotionalist, is that correct? Yes, and uh, we know that, um, there, there, I mean, there are a lot of safeguards in place, and a lot's been done, but we know that when you have a, when you have an inpatient unit, and you're putting together 20 or 30 uh, adolescents or even adults, um, they need to control their behavior, and a lot of times medication has to be used to control behavior because you can't if you're putting together 30 people um, so it's it's you have to be very cautious and careful about where you'd have your child so in other words if you were a perfectly normal person and you were put on some of this strong psychotropic medicine you may not act normal and if someone had tested you when you're in the medicine you would probably put down there's something wrong with you is that correct oh yes there are uh, there are many uh, horror stories that have come out where where someone got hospitalized for against their will for the wrong reasons. Someone lied about them. Someone was revengeful. Um, perhaps a hospital was too anxious to fill a bed. And people go in, they get put on medications, and if uh, if they resist, they might even be held down and injected. And yes, then, then of course, they start to act strange, and it just creates a vicious cycle where now, they're, now the hospital has grounds to keep them.